Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and in this particular video I will be talking about probability. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please click on the i button on the top right hand side corner of your screen. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and if you like this video, please click on the like button and also press the bell icon so that you are notified when we upload in the future. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So probability is the measure of quantifying the likelihood that the event will occur. So suppose that I am saying that what is the probability of getting a head? Then the formula for the same would be favorable events upon total number of events. So in our case, when we toss a coin, we either get head or tail. So probability of getting a head is, favorable events is 1 and total number of events are 1 and 2, so 2. So the probability of getting um, a head is 1 by 2. So, the, in very general language, probability is nothing but the chance of getting uh, getting a result as desired. What is the probability of the chance of getting a head? That's it. Now, let's discuss what events is or in particular, what is the structure of, of probability. Structure of probability. The first is experiment. So experiment is nothing but the process, the process which produces an outcome. Second is event. Event is nothing but the outcome of an, of an experiment. Third is elementary events. Elementary events are those events which cannot be broken down, cannot be broken down into other events. Like in our case, in our previous example, we could get either head or tail. Once we have a head, there is nothing above or below that. That means nothing is going to happen above or below getting a head or a tail. So this event, this, the result cannot be broken into for, uh, further events. In case of a die when rolled, a dice when rolled, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, if I say what is the probability of getting 1, then, then it is an elementary event. But when I say what is the probability of getting an even number, then we have 1, 2 and 3 options available to us. Right? So that is what elementary events are. So the next is span sample space. Sample space is the complete list of all the elementary events for an experiment. 
so we had head and tail uh, when a coin is tossed in that case this is the span sample space where we have an option head a tail as well now once we have the basic understanding of this structure of probability let's further discuss few important uh, key points or subheadings in probability the first is unions and is denoted like with this sign for the for the explanation of the same i am going to draw a venn diagram where this is my event a and this is my event b sorry for my disproportionate circles here i have these values so event a has a sample space 1 2 3 4 and event b has 2 4 5 and 6 so the union of a and b will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 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 union of a and b gives you all the unique values and removes the repetition so that is what union is now when i talk about intersections which is denoted by this sign when i say a intersection b i mean the common values between those those two events so it would be 2 comma 4 next in the row is mutually exclusive events so mutually exclusive events example of mutually exclusive events can be tossing a coin and getting either head or tail so in this case when i'm tossing a coin i can either get head or i can get tail so what happens is in a mutually exclusive event the occurrence of one event preludes the occurrence of the other event so if one happens the other cannot happen so in that case probability of h plus probability of sorry intersection of h and t would be zero either h will happen or t will happen and there won't be any intersection between the two next in the row is independent events independent events are those events where the happening or non happening of one event does not affect the happening or the non happening of the other event so suppose that i have a venn diagram where event say a says t and event b says shopping 
so drinking tea does not affect me going for a shopping so these are called independent events the next is collectively exhaustive events collectively exhaustive events means that suppose i have a die i am not good at drawing so please don't mind suppose that i have a die here i have one two so on and so forth so what happens is when i roll a die any value can come and once as a result and once that is done the entire trial is completely exhausted so if this comes the one as a result one comes when rolling a die that means all the options this one has surpassed all the options and came forward as an outcome so the entire sample space has been exhausted i hope that makes sense if not then please comment down below and let me know i'll explain it again most definitely the next is complementary event when i say complementary events suppose that i have an event a so a complement so a complement of an event a would be this this basically means we can write it as a probability of a complement equals to 1 minus probability of a that means if probability of happening of event a is say 1.52 what is the probability that a will not happen so 1 minus p a so a complement of an event is just the opposite of that event so if a is happening if what is the probability of a of not happening of an event in this case now let's also discuss what is count rule of rule of counting the possibilities so when i say rule of counting the possibilities i basically mean um how can you and in what ways you can calculate the total number of probable the total number uh, of favorable events so the first is mn counting rule mn counting for that i uh, for the explanation of this let's take an example that suppose that you are a customer and uh, you you are going to purchase a car and the 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 company offers a certain combination of attributes or you can just personalize your um, car with the given packages or the with the given um, uh, facilities they are providing so the company says that we have two kinds of engines 
which we can offer we have five kinds of interior paints or paint colors not interior paint the paint in the paint color of the car we have three kind they have three kinds of interior packages so in that case with each kind of engine what kind of paint color and what kind of um, interior package would go you can you can make the combination by simply multiplying them together to check how many combinations are possible in reality so in this case we have 30 combinations so this is called mn counting rule so the next is sampling sampling from the population from a population without with replacement sorry with replacement so when i say with replacement i basically mean that suppose that i have uh, again a die which we are going to roll again sorry for my drawing cap capabilities whatever so uh, we have a die and we roll at this die three times and we have a sample space of six here so we can use now why i'm saying with replacements because each time you roll the die that suppose that you have first time rolled the die and you get one that one value again goes back to the die definitely because you cannot just take back the uh, take take the value out of the die right so what you do is you give back that value to the die then again there is a chance that one can the, the second time also there is a chance that one can come as an outcome right so that's that so this is called a replacement uh, with replacement replacement means that you are giving back what you took out or from that particular trial so in that scenario what you can do is to calculate the combinations which you have what you can do is you can use n to the power small n where small n is the number of trials and capital n is the uh, the sample space So 6 into 3, uh, 6 uh, cube is 216. So these many combinations are possible or these many outcomes can happen in this scenario. Now, the third one is sampling from population without replacement. Now without replacement means that whatever the outcome is you take take that with you and the sample set the sample size is reduced. In the previous example the sample size was never reducing but in this case the sample each time the sample size reduces with the number of trials or depending upon the type of question you have. So for in that scenario you can use the formula N C R where it can be written as n factorial small uh, r factorial n minus r factorial so so suppose that out of 20 balls which are of different colors so suppose that we have um, 
टू बैग्स और वन बैग विद फाइव ब्लैक बॉल्स एंड टू रेड बॉल्स एंड अ सिंगल बॉल इज ड्रॉन सो वॉट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट द बॉल इज फ्रॉम दी इज ब्लैक इन दैट केस वॉट यू कैन डू इज फ्रॉम द ब्लैक बॉल देर आर फाइव ब्लैक बॉल्स वन बॉल इज ड्रॉन आउट ऑफ दैट आउट ऑफ द टोटल बॉल्स आउट ऑफ टोटल सेवन बॉल्स सो सेवन बॉल्स फ्रॉम सेवन बॉल्स वन बॉल इज ड्रॉन so these are total number of events and this is the favorable event the scenario is same the for the formula is different right and now um, let's let's now discuss few of the properties of few of the properties of probability first of all the probability uh, the value of probability always remains between 0 and 1 the probability can never be never be negative the second is the combined probability of the sample space of the sample space is 1 that means when you roll a die probability of getting 1 uh, probability of getting 2 probability of getting 3 when all summed up give you a total probability of 1 so the entire probability of the sample space is 1 combined probability the third is if if a and b b are mutually exclusive probability of a union b will always equate to probability of a plus probability of b so when i say mutually exclusive event that means that when i am saying that uh, that if this happens this cannot happen so ultimately either of the one we will get as a union b and the probability of non occurrence of an event that the event will not occur is 1 minus probability of a so that's it for this video i will be creating a uh, more uh, a lot of videos on probability so uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon and if you want to know more about text lab analytics or if you want to learn more from us or from me you can just go ahead on uh, again on the website www.textlabanalytics or you can call on the given numbers on the screen or you can write us uh, write us at Dub, uh, hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com we are currently placed in gurgaon hope you found this video informative um, please um, don't forget to hit the bell icon and like and share definitely with your friends bye bye take care see you guys next time